Hey, what's good? Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm going to teach you to wax half-court shots just like Steph Curry. All right, so my guys over at East Bay sent me over a few pairs of the Under Armour SC302s. And today, what we're going to do is we got them on feet, and we're going to learn to wax half-court shots just like Steph Curry. Because there's a few secret keys that if you can master them, make it a lot easier, and that way you can make more shots, beat more buzzers just like Steph. Off the rim, Curry has time. Three seconds. Curry from half-court. But make sure you watch the end of the video because we've actually got an awesome giveaway from my guys over at East Bay, but you're going to have to wait to the end to see it. All right, so the very first thing we want to think about, right, when we're shooting half-court shots is getting enough power, right? Most of the time when players try to shoot half-court shots, they try to get too much power into it, and because of that, it throws a bunch of stuff off. So the very first key that will help you out is what we call the one-two stride. So let's walk out to half-court, and I'm going to kind of show you that. So the one-two stride is basically just shooting off of a long extended one-two step. So if you watch most of Steph Curry's buzzer beaters, especially beyond half court, as he's getting ready to shoot, he plants with his left foot because he's a right-handed shooter. And then as he shoots, the ball in his hip is going to flow in a straight line towards the hoop, just like that, right? So a one-two stride is basically just a, a one step, a two step on your opposite, and then you're launching into your shot. So it's almost like a long extended layup, right? Have you ever learned a layup where the coach tells you that the ball, it should, or your elbow and your knee should pretend like it's attached by a string? So as the ball goes up, your knee goes up? The one-two stride is a lot like that. As I'm getting ready to shoot, I'm planting my one step on the same side as the ball, second step right here, so I'm going two steps, so it's not a travel, and then I'm launching into my shot, ball and knee are moving together, and then I'm trying to make a straight line from the ball to my elbow, to my shoulder, to my hip, to my knee towards the hoop. So as you're getting ready to launch, it should look something kind of like this, where everything's in a straight line, and then pushing and extending out towards the hoop. Now, one thing that'll help you keep the ball straighter on this, giving it a greater chance of going in, keep that hip on the rim the whole way through. So what we see a lot of times is players will shoot, and they'll like try to crank this energy up, and they'll throw their body through it just like that, right? So their hip will rotate around away from the hoop. Think about trying to keep your hip on the hoop. So as I'm going ready and I'm getting ready to push, try to keep my hip right here. So when I release, everything's in a straight line down my body and that's gonna be straight towards the hoop. If I can do that one, two stride into the shot, we're gonna get more power, more fluidity, more momentum. And he beat the clock from mid court. Curry, good! He banked it home! All right, so the next option with footwork, if you don't have a long extended stride, is a one-two pop launch. So it's still a one-two step, but our steps are gonna be a lot closer together, and I'm gonna really fire off the balls of my feet, getting nice and springy on the ground. What we watch with Steph Curry, a lot of times if he's over half court, he'll use the stride launch. If he's inside half court, just barely, he'll use a pop launch, because you can get a little bit more power out of the stride, but it's maybe not quite as accurate. So with a one-two pop launch, we're doing the same thing, but instead of a long step into it, we're going to do go short steps. So as you're getting ready, you're gonna pick up the ball and go, one, two, and you're launching your second step off the same side as your shooting hand, right? So before we were going one, two, last step was off of our opposite foot. This time we're coming in, pop, pop, and it's almost kind of like a quick jump stop where I'm going one, two with my feet launching into it, right? So if you notice Steph when he's shooting these kind of pop launch, his feet are very quick there, pop, 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 going off into it, right? Heels are up, balls of the feet are plowing into the ground, exploding back up. So again, you can experiment with this and you kind of find where your range is at. You'll find out to a certain spot you like to shoot kind of the pop, and then out to a certain spot behind that, you're probably gonna shoot with a stride. Now, everybody's gonna be different depending on their age, their physical ability, all that sort of stuff. So you're gonna to wanna to figure out what one you wanna use in what range, right? One of them might just be, on, be beyond half court, one of them might be on the inside. But if you can keep that one, two quick and poppy, it's gonna help you uh, hit some more shots from deep. And for Curry, from half court, it's gone! He banks it in! All right, so the next key is we've got to start with the ball low, down by your waist. A big mistake players make when they're getting ready to shoot half quarters is they launch it up here on their shoulder and then they pull their body back and they try to throw it towards the hoop, right? Keeping the ball up here by their shoulder the whole time. Now the problem is this doesn't give you a whole lot of power and power is the number one thing we need to generate if we're shooting from so far back, right? So think about as you're getting ready to shoot, no matter what your footwork's gonna be, you want the ball to start down here by your waist maybe even down by your thigh or down by your knee. That way we can get all this upward momentum into our shot, 
nice and smooth on the release all the way in the power towards the basket. So make sure the lower you start the ball, generally the more power you're gonna have. I always talk about shooting in power and lowering the ball like an uppercut punch in boxing, right? If I try to start my punch right here and I, this is all I'm throwing, I'm not gonna be able to get much power, but if I start it lower, I can get my hits, I can get my body, I get all the sort of momentum and it's gonna be much more powerful on the release. So when you're getting ready to shoot a half court shot, make sure you're not setting it on the shelf Make sure you're starting it lower down here so you're getting nice and smooth on the release. If you can do that, I promise you you'll get more power and you'll make more half court shots. All right, now for the fun part, let's do some giveaways. So all you gotta do is head to Instagram and follow me at Shop Mechanics and find this post right here and it's gonna give you all the directions to figure out how to be entered to win the shoe giveaway at the end of the month. Now each month we give away awesome stuff from my guys over at East Bay. Last month we gave away three pairs of the Kyrie Irving 4 Lows. So congratulations to the winner, but this month we've got even bigger and better stuff coming. So to figure out how to be entered to win, all you got to do, go to Instagram, follow me at Shop Mechanics, and find this post, and it's going to tell you all the information that you need to know. Also, if you want to get your own pair of the SC302s, just click the second link in the description down below and get them from my guys over at East Bay. They're home of free shipping and exclusive colorways, so you definitely want to check them out. And I actually love these shoes on feet. The traction is A1, the cushioning is on point, and they really kind of feel like a sock on your feet. So if you want to pick up your own pair, just click the second link in the description down below. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on.